Troy. Morning, sir. How are we getting on? Secured the scene. Haven't had time for much else. But I'd say a heavy blow to the head with a blunt instrument. She's been dead overnight, stiff as a board and covered in snails. And there's a possible bit of forensic. It's not much, but oh, we haven't touched it. If you look closely, there's a tiny black mark. Ink, maybe. Is it writing? The end squiggle of a signature, even, mm. as it's in the corner. Yeah. Well done, Troy. There's nothing else. Mm. Who found her? Crispin. Crispin? He's a black Labrador. I've been struggling with my conscience, as every good Christian must. And there is something else I should tell you. Well, one doesn't like to tell tales, especially as a result of what one has quite um, inadvertently overheard. But last night, off to the meeting. Where are you going? Back to the garden. I'm a gardener, remember? I asked, where are you going? And uh, he said, back to the garden. Those were his exact words. Did you follow him? Follow him? Do you know for certain if he went straight to the garden there and then? I do not follow men. Excuse me. It's Mr. Bolt, isn't it? Yeah. Detective Sergeant Troy. Insecticide. Organic. <coughs> Insecticide, sir? How does it kill him? Alcohol poisoning. Could I ask when you last saw Miss Felicity Inkpen, sir? What, alive? Sorry, of course alive. Um, last evening, about ten to eight, just before I left for the village meeting. Not after the meeting, then? No. No, definitely not. I went straight home, up the lane. Not to the memorial garden? Not back to the garden at all? No. Nope. You were heard to say that, back to the garden. I was annoyed about the meeting. I was simply making a point. I'm a gardener, nothing more. Just a gardener? Not a ladies' man, then, sir? And you and your, your daughter, Felicity, you're on good terms? Who says otherwise? She was a dear and beautiful daughter. She was her mother's child, and I loved her more than I've loved anyone else in this whole horrible world. <laughs> it's Hillary, isn't it? waiting for you. Last night, Fliss came and found you. Could I ask you why? Just to torment me. It was her favourite pastime. Oh, you didn't get on? No. Well, that must have been a bit difficult, living and working under the same roof. Fliss didn't work. She tried modelling and acting without any luck. Well, they're hard to get into, aren't they? So she just hung about here, bored out of her skull. And uh, do you know if any other people felt the same way about her as uh, you did? I mean, did she torment anyone else? Well, everyone, really. It was her thing, a kind of attention-seeking, I suppose. But anyone specific? Well, Mum? Daniel? Rodney Widger? Oh, the shotgun man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pliss and I didn't like each other, but it's not very nice talking about her like this. Excuse me. 